Early in the summer of 2007, the Jennings Daily News gets a tip that we need to look into the chief investigator, Warren Gary, that there was an issue with him purchasing a truck from an inmate and then selling it to make a profit. Now, right off the top, there's nothing inherently illegal in that situation, but what we're told is that that truck may have been the crime scene where Kristen Gary Lopez was murdered. Former chief criminal investigator Warren Gary found himself under investigation after he bought a truck from jail inmate Connie Seiler and later sold it for a profit. Some believe that truck may have had a connection to the death of one of the women. Numerous witnesses discussed how Kristen was riding in a white Chevy Silverado prior to her death with Connie Seiler, an associate of Frankie's. Frankie, Frankie's goddaughter, Hannah Connor, and Tracy Chasson. What, if anything, do you know about that truck that Connie Seiler sold? I don't know nothing about the truck. All I know is that it's, um, that it was sold to a detective. Do you know anything about anybody's body being put in it? Mm -mm, or anything like no. I don't. Connie Seiler, the owner of the Chevy Silverado, sold the truck for about seven or eight thousand dollars to a chief investigator of the sheriff's office, Warren Gary. And then Gary resold it for approximately fifteen thousand dollars. This is a potential crime scene, and now it's been sold for profit and given to a private citizen and law enforcement. Didn't want to believe anything was going on wrong with Warren Gary and that truck situation. What I see is that it was an opportunity for somebody to make some money, uh, buy a vehicle, sell a vehicle, and make a profit. I don't think Warren Gary had the knowledge at the time that the vehicle would have any evidence in it. Ultimately, he is put before the Louisiana Board of Ethics and he's fined $10,000. But he's cleared of any criminal charges and actually becomes the head of the evidence room for the Sheriff's Department, which just felt like a really bizarre move. You have a guy who was just in trouble and in enough trouble that the state decided to define him for it regarding something that could be a piece of evidence being sold. And now he's head of the evidence room, it just felt kind of like a little, it just felt like a fuck you. We know that something has to be done, but this is our investigation, we're gonna run it how we want to, and, and we're not gonna let anybody from, from the outside influence that in any way, shape, or form.